So, who am I? I am Vicky Vergara, and I am an economist. I'm the main PG routing developer. I am from Mexico. I do a lot of things in OSGO. I consider myself as an octopus, and that is my mail. If you want to contact me, you can find that mail in GitHub, in Wiki of OSGO. Everybody kind of looks like knows me. So what are we going to do today? We're going to see what is PG routing. What is routing? We're going to see how we develop PG routing. And we're going to an analyze just a little bit of uh, PG routing products because it's not only one um, software that we develop. We're going to talk very little about graphs. And I forgot to translate that sentence from Spanish. Uh, we're going to see the evolution. And we're going to see the students' contributions. So what is PG routing? PG routing is an OSGO community uh, project. I think that the last update of my presentation is not here, so we're going to work with it. And it's an open source, so you can see and inspect how good or bad we're doing everything. We are a library of functions that work with a PostGIST enabled database of Postgres database. Okay? And what we do in PG routing is we do routing like you use your Google Maps or Waze or whatever software when you are lost. So that's what is PG routing in one image, OK? It's two. I have to point where. I'll use the arrow. So what is routing? Well, like the little elephant there says, well, I am here. I want to go there. And when I was in elementary school, the teacher always told me, that the shortest path between two points is uh, just a straight line. So we go like that. But then we notice that something is wrong, that that is not necessarily true. So what do we have to do? We have to develop something to make that routing be more accurate. It's not that it's not uh, true. A bird can do that kind of trip, but not us. And to do that, we have to go and look and investigate, do some research, and get some theory. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to develop a routing function right now. So we go and look for the theory. And in this case, we find uh, that, um, start. OK, we are going to use uh, the gravity. We're going to use gravity to solve a routing problem. OK, so we're going to be doing something that I hope it works. So we find our very amazing theory. And we need to make a test. So we have to design a test. And in this case, this is the design. The, I made a new slide that is not here. But the expected result is to go from 1 to 3 to 6 to 5. That's the shortest path for this. Um, data that we have. So we're going to implement our algorithm. And for doing that, very carefully, carefully, carefully. 
please, uh, <laughs> so that they can see. So here, <laughs> he's, um, everything is uh, with volunteers, and he's my compulsory volunteers, and well, everybody knows that I ask for compulsory volunteers. So he's my compulsory volunteer, and this is uh, how we're going to use the gravity to solve that problem. Can you hold it, please? We want to go from one, from the green one to the red one. And to do that, uh, uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, we Sorry, five of one, please. <coughs> there. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Mm, yes, so we're using gravity, this is our destination, from the destination we find the more tense uh, cord and it takes us to six and from six it takes us to three and from three the more tense cord takes us to the green one and are the lines that has a nine, a two, and, and a nine. So we get our shortest path using gravity. So our, the theory works. <laughs> <laughs> Merci beaucoup. So we, this is, this was supposed to be there while we were doing that. So what are the PG routing products? The PG routing products are OSM to PG routing. OSM to PG routing, what it allows us to do is to convert data from OpenStreetMap, which is open data, to a PG, to a Postgres, a Post GIS enabled post Postgres database. And oops. PG routing layer is a QGIS plugin that allows us to see routes. Uh, so it gets the information for, from the database and it displays it in a very human readable form of a map because internally everything is zeros and ones. So that is a uh, PG routing. You can see the totality of our products right now. Um, you go from OSM to PG routing and from PG routing to QGIS. That's uh, QGIS would be our front end. And we're going to talk about where can I use PE routing. We're going to use PE routing on graphs. And what are the graphs? Graphs can be anything. For example, graphs can be represent rivers. We have uh, many functions now, flow functions. The graphs can represent human relationships. Graph can represent data connections. And what we are used to is that it, they represent uh, city roads. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. City roads, no, it's not. they can represent city roads. Now, PG routing has been growing since 2013 that I read, arrived to it. So let's see our evolution. When I arrived, the version 2.0 was about to be released. I, it's when I made my first open source contribu contribution before this release. And that is the total number of functions uh, that, were, that were in that release, okay? We had 
the incredible amount of 65 unit tests. And unfortunately, like a year and a half later, I noticed that if I put in the compiling the flags of W error, W pedantic, I am very pedantic. So there were like um, 4,000 lines of warnings. And what is a warning in one compiler can be an error in another compiler. And I said, this needs to be fixed. <laughs> That's when I gradually started to be more active in the project. And soon, that work will be shown in version 3.0, which I plan to release uh, in September. We have three classification of functions in in, since more or less version 2.3. We have the official functions, which are the ones that you will see in front of the documentation. The proposed functions are the ones that can become official easier, and the experimental functions which are the ones that are recently created and we need the community to test it with real data, with real problems. But in 3.0, we will have many classifications, for example, this, uh, you, we will have the old pairs, which the, two fun the first ones, Floyd, Warshall, and Johnson, already are in 2.0. The A star family of functions, the bidirectional A star family of functions, the bidirectional Dijkstra family of functions. Microphone, please. It's, ah, okay, it's working now. Thanks. The components family of functions, the contraction of a graph, the Dijkstra family of functions, the flow family of functions, the spanning tree families that include Kruskal family of functions, Prim family of functions, the K shortest path, which is Jen's algorithm, the turn restriction so shortest path, the traveling salesman problem functions, the driving distance category that include with Dijkstra as a back uh, function to do it, and the prim and cross call functions. And we now, instead of uh, 68 tests, we have 30,810 unit tests. So uh, you saw that we had like 4,000 uh, warnings and stuff. We still do have them. So you will know, oh, yes, there's still a bug. Yes, there's still a bug. During these uh, four years that I've been actively in the project, there, there is this function that is the turn restriction shortest path that is uh, very complicated to fix. And I decided, OK, I mean, this warning, I can remove it easily. It's just a conversion of types. But if I leave it there, people will know that there are bugs in that function when they compile. And if they don't believe that, then the, from the 30-something thousand function unit tests, you can see that all the failing unit tests have to do with the term restrictions, shortest path function that PU routing has. And it's going to be our policy that that function will remain like that until someone funds to rewrite that function. So it will be like, let's keep it there like it is. Now, PG routing has grown thanks to the students. So we have many contributions, and these are the Google Summer of Code students. Uh, we have uh, Han Wu from this year's program. 
he created uh, the topological sort. This documentation that you can see here is the documentation that he created for this uh, presentation. And he also created a transitive closure function for graphs. And this is the, the documentation. So the, oops, it didn't take me to the link. Oh, yeah. He also made his video of, uh, it's not shown. I don't know how to do that. They told me to move it somewhere. Wait. Let me put it at the beginning. Where is the mouse? Uh, that is Han Wu working on the on on this summer and all those uh, dots represent the files he touched and you can see the date that he worked. <laughs> So this is important for me to, for you to show because it's their students' efforts. I'm going out, I'm, and they're coming in. So how do I? I just cross it here. And we go to the next slide. Now the other student that we have for this year is Akil. And he made a breadth first search a uh, function in in PG routing that is a documentation that he did for the this presentation and that is how P routing results look like when you use it so it's a long process to use that information and make a nice map with it uh, that's and he made a binary breadth first search and he also made uh, an implementation of Edward Moore's algorithm. So he made a contribution of three functions and he also created his, his working video. Ah. I have to click it only, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it's coming. <coughs> what is I said? You can find the videos in YouTube. We have videos of all our students. So that's basically the end. Bing. So from 2018, last year, we have Mao Wang. He created an, a solution for the Chinese postman problem. Uh, we have Aditya, that he is the one that made Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithms. Uh, we had Surbach, which now is, was a mentor for the Google Summer of uh, Code. And Ahish, 
Vidhan Andra Rohith Sarthak that made the uh, PU routing improvements. And I give you thanks. And that's all. So these are this is my presentation about PU routing. If you have any questions, uh, we have five minutes to answer. Questions? Yeah. So we, we do use PG routing quite a lot <laughs> for projects. Thank you for, for this nice product. Um, I have a question about performance. Could you tell us a bit about uh, the size of the of the networks? What is a large network for you? <laughs> yeah, a, a large that w that always is going to be a dip that will depend on your point of view. Of course, if I want to solve a problem of how do I get from here to the corner, I won't put all Europe. That it would be too large. But uh, let's say, I, at least in my computer, which uh, when I made some performance measurements that you can see in the documentation of uh, the old pairs algorithm, there are some times I did some analysis about in my computer with uh, that I have at home, which is uh, actually slower than this one because I built it. Uh, that one took around three seconds per million rows to upload to the algorithm, to memory, so that the algorithm can use that information. Mm -hmm. So that was three seconds per million rows in my computer. Yeah. Which, uh, me, this one is faster, I haven't measured the speed, but what it takes more time in PU routing is to upload, convert that saved graph in the database into usable information in the algorithm. Mm -hmm. That was takes a lot of time. In our documentation, we try to put the the O of the function, so you can see. If I didn't go through the details, but it says the running time was an order of the number of edges plus the number of vertices, but that is when the algorithm is running. The slowest part is uploading to memory. But, but it's only once. And that's why we created functions that go from one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many, so that in one call you can solve many problems at the same time. So that is uh, what we're trying to do in all the functions that require a, a source and a destination. Yes. Okay. Thank you. More questions? I'm glad that everything is clear as petrol. <laughs>